Hi everybody, Miss Rachel from the Farmingdale Public Library here, and today I'm going to show you how to make a spider web from things that you would find in your garden and around your house. For this activity, for this Halloween nature art, you will need three sticks from your garden that are about the same length. You can also take one really long stick and break them into thirds. You'll need a pair of scissors, and you will need some white yarn or orange yarn or black yarn, whatever color yarn you would like to make your spider web with. You could also use bakery twine or any kind of um, jute twine, whatever rope that you have. I like white yarn because it's going to have a high contrast with my very dark brown sticks, but you could use whatever color you'd like. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to decide which is our middle stick. I'm going to use this one today. And I'm going to loop my yarn around my stick and tie it in a tight double knot so that this way I have a good anchor point. Okay, so I have my yarn tied pretty tight onto my stick. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my stick on at an angle. So I'm building a star shape or an X. And I'm going to wrap this around one or two times. And pull it tight. I'm going to add on my third stick and do the same thing. So I'm going to wrap it around to make an X shape. So in this case, we're going to be rotating it between our hands, back and forth, until we have a good, strong X, where our pieces are held together. Oops, see how this one's still a little wiggly? I'm going to loop over a couple times this way. So we're basically making an X pattern in the middle of our sticks until they're held on. Once you've got them held on pretty tightly, I'm going to loop it around one more time and tie it in the knot. Oh, this is if you're using a smaller piece of string, which I am. You don't want to run out of string midway on this craft. So I'm going to loop that around, tuck it under, and tie it in a knot. This is just so that my X holds its shape. Now, you can do this with one really long piece of yarn, or if your yarn just ended like mine did, start another set. So I'm going to take some more yarn, and I'm going to tie it on the same place where my last one left off. Tie this on really tight in a double knot. And before we go on to our next step, I'm going to tie the two pieces together and then trim off the excess. And again, always try to tie this in a double knot because it'll hold a lot better. Okay, now I'm going to clip this off. So I have my star shape with the yarn trailing off the side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start looping it around each branch of the star. And I'm going to start close to my base and go around. See, it's on the back side and the front side. And then down to my next branch, loop around, next branch, loop around. Back to my first branch, loop around. Now I'm going to go a little bit higher up. So notice that I'm rotating this like a wheel in one hand while I loop with the other. So now I'm going to loop around, next branch, loop around, next branch, twist, loop around, next branch, loop around. I'm going to pull out some more yarn. Okay, and keep going. Loop around, next branch, 
loop around. Oh, and now I'm back at the top. So I'm gonna keep going. One, two, and around. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you can keep going until you reach the ends of your sticks. So that might be three times around. That might be four times around. It all depends upon how long your sticks are. But once you've made a complete circle around, as you can see, we have a pretty nifty spider web. What I'm going to do to finish my spider web is with my scissors, I'm going to cut off the end of the string and I'm going to loop it around that last branch that I was on. And then I'm going to tie it in a double knot. I'm going to tie it to my string, pull it nice and tight. One knot, two knots, and then trim off the extra with my scissors. Okay, and there we have it. We've got a spooky nature spider web. All you need to do now is put it outside and see if a real spider comes up to it. So I hope you had a good time at our Halloween nature art, and I'll look forward to seeing you again soon at some of our other programs. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.